everyone this is a tech video this is about the Synology NAS servers and running across an error I've been a long time fan of Synology but I've lately I've been having a few errors around um, volume management and what I was trying to do with this particular one is I had completely run out of space I was at zero and I needed to add a new disk I added a new disk by pulling a two terabyte drive and adding a four terabyte drive I've been finding finding it's better to do it that way for dollar savings reasons and and I put it in no no drive errors it scanned it went through the process no smart test was good no errors on the drive but when I went to expand the volume uh, it aired out on me you, uh, you file system errors were discovered we recommend running this system check you can't run a file check on the GUI, the web GUI. You have to do different tools. Um, so that's very problematic. I don't really want to get into that uh, at the command line level. So what you have to do is you have to enable SSH. It's a secure somewhat form of Telnet. It allows you to get into a command line interface. Download this PuTTY tool. It's a free open source package that's often used. You download it. Uh, I used Windows. You don't have to unzip it or anything like that. It just you can execute it from the download. It's real simple to do. Start up PuTTY. Enter your IP address of the Synology machine. Make sure you didn't change any of the. You know, use the default settings basically. Enter your NAS IP address, port 22. You had the SSH enabled on the NAS and you'll be able to, to kind of start it from here once you put an IP address as is no protocol in front of it um, you just click open there alright and this is your internal network IP not external for most users okay got that in open it up I'm not going to show you the actual execution of commands here just I didn't have it running at the time so basically you have putty launched it wants you to log in you need to log in as root rather than admin which is that was unexpected there's a bit of troubleshooting around that you use the same password as you would have for admin okay and then here's the commands basically just excuse the uh, edits on the here. I don't want to show my details of my NAS actually. So you're basically starting up top and you want to make sure you log in with the putty tool. You're doing the sync power off task dash D. Make sure you do get the dash D, otherwise it will shut out of putty and you gotta reboot your NAS. VJ change is basically changing to the active volume, VJ one thousand in my case. And then you get into the V, sorry, F S C K. It's the fix disk uh, command line. And I can't say that I know every flag on here, but uh, hey, it worked for me. But you may have to change your variable here to be your volume. Mine was VG1000. This will run about four to six hours, and I found one error and fixed it, so it did work for me. So when you're done with that you want to make sure you run these final commands again at your own risk with these commands this is just from my research on the internet from different forums and different members so thank everyone for for those comments but I've assembled it here uh, what you want to do is run this VJ change dash an VG 1000 deactivates the volume group you run this sync command and you want to do this init 6 it basically reboots this analogy uh, let it come up, log into the web page, shut off your SSH and get started again and you should be able to extend the space on the volume. Here's just a summary of some of the commands I help, I found that were useful. This uh, VG, VG display is helpful in identifying the volume name. Uh, hopefully it works out for you. This one worked out for me. So yeah. thanks everyone.